my name is Samantha Haynes, and I'm a dance teacher here in the OKC area, and I'm also a teaching artist with Arts Council OKC, and today we are bringing you video number five in our series, Beginning Jazz Dance. And I'm so glad that you clicked on this video. I hope you have a lot of fun. Notice I did say video five, so if you haven't seen videos one through four, maybe go back and watch those first because there are going to be some things that we're building on in this video. But if you've already seen videos one through four, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here and let's go ahead and get started with our dance class. Well, before we get started with our dance class, backing up a little bit, let's make sure we're ready to dance first. So you want to have on clothes that you can move in comfortably. I have on tennis shoes today. If you want to be in tennis shoes too, that's awesome. If you have dance shoes like jazz shoes, that's even better, or if you are barefoot, that's fine too. Just make sure your floor is safe for you to be barefoot on. Um, make sure your hair's pulled back if it's long like mine. Make sure you have water nearby because you're probably gonna get a little thirsty taking class. You should make sure you stay hydrated. And last but not least, just make sure you have enough room to move in class. So you need to be able to take about three steps to one side and three steps to the other side, three steps forward and three steps back. If you can do that, you probably have enough room for class. If you're taking this class with friends, then I like to do this thing called fingernail test where everyone puts their arms out to the side and swings their arms like this. And if your fingernails are touching someone else, then you do not pass fingernail tests and you need to give them a little more space. <laughs> so if you need to take care of any of those things that I just mentioned, go ahead and pause the video, grab some water, grab a hair tie, maybe move the furniture back. Go ahead and do that now and then you can click play. And if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started with class. We're gonna do a quick little warm up where you can follow along and then we'll go into a stretch. And then I'm gonna be breaking down two different steps for you today, your drag step and your tuck and roll. And then we're gonna put the whole thing together into a combo at the very end of class. But we're gonna go ahead and get started with our warm up and you can follow along. Your feet are gonna be apart, standing up nice and tall. And we're gonna start with some isolations. We're gonna move our head first. Ready? Six, seven, eight, up, down, up, down, up, down. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Draw a circle with your head. Nice. Go the other way. Now we're gonna repeat that triple rhythm with our shoulders. Up, down, up, down, up, down. One, two, three, alternate. One, two, three. Nice, circle, you can bend your knees when you do this. Nice, go the other way. Awesome, now we're gonna isolate our chest. Forward, forward, back, back, side, good. Now here's the tricky part, can you move your chest in a circle? Try to keep your hips still while you do it. Can you go the other way? Nice, here come your high knees. Run it one, two, five, six. Turn to the side and kick behind. Five, six. Kick to the front like you're kicking a soccer ball. Good, now jump side to side like you're playing jump rope. Awesome, good job. I hope you're feeling a little warm. Now, let's take a deep breath and we're gonna go ahead and go into some stretching. So, I'm gonna turn and face the side. You can face the side too or keep facing front, up to you. And I'm just gonna turn to the side so you can see a little better. So, you can start standing up nice and tall. Take a deep breath in and exhale. And here comes our music, you ready? Here we go. We're gonna hold every position for eight counts. Ready, set, here we go. One, two, three, four. Woo, it's okay if you wobble a little bit. Six, seven, eight. Now take that foot and lunge it all the way back. Good, you can put your fingertips on the floor. Six, seven, drop our knee down, reach our hands up. Six, seven, eight. You're gonna put one hand down, stretch over to the side. Five, six, good, seven. Now you're gonna sit all the way back and stretch forward for your front foot. Six, seven, eight. Go back to your lunge. One, two, three, four, step it together. Good. Now you're gonna do the same thing with your other foot. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, step that foot all the way back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Make sure your back leg's nice and straight. Drop your knee down, reach it up. Five, six, seven. Put one hand down, reach to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sit all the way back, stretch forward. Hold it, five, six, seven, eight. Find our legs. One, two, three, four. Step it together and roll it up. Head's the last thing to arrive. Nice job. And face spread. Reach it up. Deep breath in. And exhale. Press our arms down. Good job. All right. If you need to pause the video really quick and grab a sip of water, now is a great time to do that. And then I'll catch you in just a second. All right, if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started working on our two steps for this video. Drag step and tuck and roll. We're gonna work on drag step first, and this is how I like to teach it. I like to start teaching drag step by using the arms first. So you can mirror me. I'm gonna say right hand up first, but it's gonna be my left hand, but you can do your right hand. Ready? Hope that's not confusing. Five, six, seven, we go. Right hand high and down. When I come down, I like to flip my hands, boop, and drop them down. Nice, almost like I'm like tracing something. And then do the other side, left hand high, and down. Good, let's do it one more time. Right hand high, notice I'm also turning my head to look up at my fingertips. And left hand high, and down. Nice, make sure you're getting your arm all the way up so that it's Perpendicular, that's the word, right? <laughs> I hope you do math. Perpendicular to the floor, you should be making a 90 degree angle. Or like your arm should be making a 90 degree angle. Now we're gonna add in the hips. So you can move your feet apart just a little bit and you're gonna shift your hips to the right and center, good, to the left. How far can you lean like someone's pulling a string from your hips? To the right and center. Good, and when you shift your hips to the side, you'll notice that this foot starts to kind of come off the floor. That's a good thing, to the center. Let's see if we can add the arms and the hips together. Ready? To the right, and center. To the left, and center. Okay, the only thing we have to add in now are our feet, and the feet are actually the easy part of this step. The upper body is really what gives this step so much pizzazz, I guess. You're gonna go step with the right foot. I'm still mirroring you, so I'm using my left foot. You do your right foot. Your right foot's gonna step, and your left foot's just gonna drag behind. Then you're gonna go the other way. Step with your left foot, and you're just gonna drag and reach that leg behind you. That's why it's called a drag step. Let's try the feet one more time. Step and drag together. Step and drag together. Awesome. You can also do like more than one drag step at a time going the same way. So you could go drag, step in front, drag, step in front. We don't really have enough room to do that today, but if you're in a bigger space, you could try that too. For now, let's just try going to the right and the left and the right and the left. So we'll just bring our feet together. Ready? Five. And we're going to add in our hips and our arms. Five, six, seven. Here we go. The whole picture. One, two, and down. Two, one, two, and down. Two, let's try it again. One, two, and down, nice. One, two, and down. Beautiful, that's your drag step. I love a drag step, it's a pretty simple step, but I think it has a lot of artistry, especially with the upper body. You can perform really easily during this step, so I hope you enjoyed it too. Okay, our next step that we're gonna work on is called the tuck and roll. And I love it because I love being on the floor. I like playing with levels when I'm dancing. And this is a good way for you to transition in and out of the floor very quickly. So I'm gonna show this one to you facing away from the camera. And you can follow along from behind. So I'm gonna start a little bit to the side because it is gonna travel you a little bit. So wherever you are, if you don't have much room, don't start in the middle of, the, of your space, maybe start a little to the side. You're gonna pick your right foot up into a passe. That just means your toe is right next to your knee. And then you're gonna drop 
all the way down over the top of your foot. So that's why we need to have a pointed foot. And you're gonna go all the way down so that your hips are sitting on your heel. We don't wanna have our toe tucked like this because it will make it difficult to do the next part. We wanna make sure we're on the top of our foot, not the ball of our foot. Good, come up. Let's try one more time. Ready, five, six, seven. Let's add in some arms. Arms can come up. They don't have to, but for today, let's say our arms come up when our uh, foot comes up off the floor. When we drop down, our arms can drop down all the way to the floor. From here, I'm gonna take my right hand and reach a little bit to the side, which is gonna cause me to move off of my foot and onto the floor. So now I'm sitting all the way on the floor, almost like a mermaid or something. <laughs> now I'm gonna use my left hand and my left foot and I'm gonna use those two body parts to push behind me, and that's what's gonna cause me to turn and sit. If you're doing this with me, you should now be facing away from your screen, so you probably can't see me. So turn around and hi, here I am. <laughs> Good, let's try that again, ready? Five, six from the top, we go. One and two, down three and four, five and six. Good, from here, we're gonna keep this moving. We try not to stop, but from here, we're just gonna keep rolling. Now my weight is in my left hand. Sorry, I know you're probably like turning your neck to look at, me, look at the um, screen. <laughs> Put your left hand on the floor, send your knees over, use your left hand to push so that you're now sitting up on top of your, your feet again. Awesome, from here, all you have to do is pick one foot up and you can stand up. Okay. I like to do this thing called Marco Polo, and it's hard for dancers because dancers always want to move, but you're Polo, I'm Marco, so I'm going to go, and you're going to not move, you're going to watch, and then I'll watch you. You ready? Here we go. Don't move, just watch me do it one time, and then I think you'll have it. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. I go one, two, down, three, four, around five, six, up seven, See how I didn't stop in the middle? I wanna keep that moving nice and smooth and fluid. Okay, you go, and I'm gonna watch you, ready? Five, six, seven, you go, I'll do it with you. Ready, five, six, seven, eight, go, one, two, down, three, four, roll, five, six, up, seven, eight. Something else that I see dancers doing sometimes when they do this, which isn't, wrong, but really for a tuck and roll, you wanna think about being on your hips. Be careful that you don't go all the way onto your back. That's like a whole nother thing. It's not wrong, but for what we're doing today, it's best to just roll across your hips. Boop. It helps you to be a little quicker in and out of the floor. So practice that a couple times maybe, just rolling across your hips and using your hands. Awesome. That's called your tuck and roll. Okay, now that you know those steps, drag step and tuck and roll, the last thing we're gonna do for class today is put it all together to a combo with some music and you can do it at home. All right, dancers, let's go ahead and get started with this combo. I'm gonna start it facing away so you can follow me from behind. The first thing that we're gonna do is actually a jazz square and if you don't know what a jazz square is, just go back and watch some of our other videos because I broke it down in one of our earlier videos. Jazz square goes, one, two, three, four. From here, we're gonna use the step that we learned in this video, which is your drag step. One, two, three, four. Nice, let's put it together and I'll count it in an eight. Ready, five, six, seven, eight. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome, from here, another step that you hopefully have already learned is a triple step. Your arm is gonna go one and two, three and four. And your feet are going step together, balance on one foot, step together, balance on one foot. Let's try it with the hands and the feet together. Just the triple step. Five, six, seven, here we go. One and two, three and four. Nice, let's go from the top and then I'll add in the last bit. Five, six from the top, jazz square. Goes one, two, 
three. Drag step, five, six, seven, triple step, one and two, three and four. From here, you're gonna do your pivot step, which was in the last video. For pivot step, we're doing quarter pivots. So right, 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 right. Awesome, while you're doing your pivots, your arms are just swinging to the right every time. Right, right, right. Let's try it with the feet and the hands. Ready? Five, six, seven, we go. Right, right, right. Right, awesome. One more time from the top, and then last thing is your tuck and roll. Five, six, seven, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One and two, three and four, five, six, seven, eight. Pivots are kind of quick, but it's fun. It works with the music really well. From here, you just stepped onto your right foot, Push off of it. One, two, this should feel familiar. Three, four. Don't worry, it's not too fast. Roll five, six, up, seven, eight. I'm gonna have to scoop back a little bit. From here, you're gonna do two kicks, and you're gonna use a step, or two bot maws, excuse me. And you're gonna use a step as your transition. So you go step, brush your leg, step, brush your leg. From here, step, touch, step, touch, step touch open. You're going to use your step touch, which was the very first video, in, or it was one of the very first steps in our video series, and you're going to use that to travel yourself backwards because you'll probably be at the front of your space after you do your kicks. Okay, let's not do the whole thing yet. Let's just go from the tuck and roll. Ready? Five. We just did our pivots. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, down, three, four, roll it, five, six, stand up, seven, eight, step right, bop my left, step left, bop my right, step touch right, step touch left, step touch right, open. Okay, now let's be really brave and try it all the way from the top, one time with counts, and then music, you ready? Last time with counts goes five, six, seven, eight, we go one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, triple step. One and two, three and four, a five, a six, a seven, a eight, up, two, three, four, roll five, six, up, seven, eight, right, left, left, right, step, 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 open. <laughs> I lost my counts at the end, I always do that, but we kept the right rhythm. Okay. If you're ready, let's try it with some music. Here we go, dancers. Five, six, seven, here you go. dancers. I want to do it one more time. If you want to rewind the video and do it a few times with music with me, that's totally fine. But I am going to do it one more time for you facing the camera so you can see all the details from the front. And then that'll be it for today. But feel free to practice as much as you would like with this video and with this combo. Y'all did awesome today. Here we go. Let's do it one more time with music. All right. There's some nice snaps in the beginning if you want to snap with me. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Awesome job today, dancers. That is all I have for you. You did great. 
Awesome job today, dancers. Thank you so much for watching our video. Make sure you check out all the other videos we have on Arts Council OKC's YouTube channel. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share this video with all your friends and family, and we hope to see you again very soon. Bye, guys.